My roots are from Mexico. My mom's side, her grandfather is from Mexico. So she's um, second generation. Uh, my father, uh, his father and, and mother are from Mexico as well. So he's first generation. So uh, they all came here as uh, migrant farm workers. My parents worked out in the fields. My grandparents, everyone worked out in the fields. Hardworking people. My mom, she went to ninth grade. My father, I think eighth grade. My father started using drugs as he's 14 years old and, and started going to juvenile hall. and. You know, I actually went to prison for the first time at 17. My mother, she just wanted to work uh, and be on her own. She didn't want to work on the field, so instead she started working at McDonald's and living in a trailer park and just wanted to be on her own, and that was just good enough for her. My mother tried the best she can. Um, all my life, my father was in and out of prison. So we survived off welfare. We survived off the government, food stamps, all that. So coming from Fresno, especially from our neighborhood, wasn't different. That I was kind of like, any other normal Hispanic kid in the area in the east side of Fresno. So I, I, I was normal, that was normal for me. What I found different is when I came to Clovis and I was nine years old, uh, my mother got awarded and we actually got on a, on a program that it's called the Section 8 program, which it went off your income. So we got affordable housing off our income and we're able to go into a better area. And so we were able to come to Clovis, which is a lot safer, better schools. And uh, that's how I became running. In Fresno, we didn't have physical education where in elementary school where cross country and track and field was available for us. And in Clovis, it was available and, and I started running then. Still was poor, so all of a sudden when I come to Clovis, uh, normally everybody is predominantly um, uh, white. And you know, there's probably 2% Hispanics. And so all of a sudden I'm just an outcast. It, it was a little rough, but for survival, you, you just stick with people that are like you. So all of a sudden I was kind of segregated, I would say, and, and it was probably more my doing, but it's just I felt comfortable. So, you know, the kids who got free lunch, I was with those kids and people who, you know, looked right like, just like me, I was hanging out with them. So, you know, I started running in, in fourth grade. I just wanted to become something, you know, I, I didn't even, I didn't, I, I didn't really feel like somebody, I guess, you know, growing up. I didn't really have a good role model. I didn't have any older brothers, any older family I did have necessarily wasn't the best influence. What I've learned over the years is I need to run. I need it for to, to stay alive and, and to do good and keep structure. I need it. I need it to function in my life. I need to run. Um, if I don't run, I, I feel like I'm a mess. Uh, I probably would be a mess. So therefore, I think I've, I've, I've disappeared been through a lot of disappointment in my life to where I can handle it. I'm good at it. I fall straight on my face. You know what? I'll get back up. And you know, I might dust my shoulder off for, for, for a long time, but you know what? I'm going to end up, you know, getting clean and just keep going strong. I'm not afraid to fall. I'm, I'm afraid of a lot of things, but I, I've dealt with it. It's sometimes when something bad happens, it's like I feel relieved. Like, okay, you know, that's fine. You know, it's over. Just keep going in life. And I think that's what life's about is be able to roll with it, take the hits. And uh, I think I've since I was young, I've just been able to take the hits and keep going. And a lot of people, it kind of deters them and, and not me. And so uh, I know that and so therefore I'm not afraid. It's like, all right. So I'll be running the Berlin Marathon. Uh, my best time uh, is 2.11.53, which was two and a half years ago at the 2012 Olympic uh, Marathon Trials. Uh, I was seventh place, so four spots away from the making the Olympic team. You know, through my, through my professional career, I've, I've been through a lot of lower leg injuries. Um, so it's prevented me from running a lot of marathons. Uh, my first marathon, my, first, my debut was in 2006. I ran 2.12.27. Uh, at the time, it was the seventh fastest um, in history. Going into Berlin, my goal is to break 2.10. I think that'll stamp um, my name in history books. Not many Americans have broken 2.10, so if I could just have a 2.09 um, next to my name, I, that, that just means the world to me. In a little less than 16 months, we'll be running the uh, 2016 Olympic trials. And um, it'll be in, in our backyard in Los Angeles, California. You know, who doesn't want to make the Olympics? You know, that that's a, was a lot of our, that's probably everybody's dream is to make the Olympics, right? But, uh, you know, I don't know if that's, that's, that's my everything. Um, I want to make it. My, that's my goal. I want to go over there. I'm going to run with the leaders. I mean, you know, last time, uh, 2012, I, was, I started out in 25th place, and I was kind of hoping that you know they could come back to me. And but you know, really, I wasn't a key player. I mean, I, I, my heart wasn't in it. I was just you know kind of talking, saying, "Hey, I, you know, maybe I have a shot to make top three." But now I know I'm good enough. I just want to see it through. I just want to finish, just like I stated before. I just want to finish you know this whole running thing. 
Um, whether I'm fourth or 30th, you know, I'm just gonna give it my all. Coming from the Valley, I, I feel that there's a lot of talent, but a lot of us just haven't, we haven't went all the way through, we haven't finished. We don't, you know, we have a lot of, um, as Hispanics, I think a lot of us have the reputation not to be able to finish things. A lot of us don't finish college. A lot of us have talent, but it seems like the minute we leave out of our um, comfort zone, out of high school and into college, a lot of us don't, don't finish. And, I'm, and I just want to change that. Um, I want to give uh, motivation to other Hispanic kids that, hey, you know, I grew up poor. I grew up with a father that was in, in prison. And um, I grew up, you know, with my head down a lot in my life. Uh, you know, not, not being popular, um, not having the nice clothes, and, uh, getting left out on field trips because you couldn't afford to go. Uh, and, but you know what, now, uh, I'm, you know, winning national championships, I'm traveling the world. And uh, I just want to let people know that, that just don't give up on your dreams. And you know, that's kind of how everything started, it's a dream. And my dream was just to be number one in my school.